Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report. If you are a fan of the Texas Rangers, then make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss out on a video, because I'm your number one source for all things Rangers. The Rangers are a franchise that have been losers in a fair amount of trades, but they have also come out on the winning side of trades plenty of times. In this video, I'm going to break down the top five Texas Rangers trades in history and make sure to stick to the end because there's going to be a bonus trade. Starting out at number five is Cliff Lee. On July 9th, 2010, the Rangers traded for left-handed pitcher Cliff Lee, right-handed pitcher Mark Lowe, in exchange the Seattle Mariners received first baseman Justin Smoke, right-handed pitcher Blake Beaven, right-handed pitcher Josh Luke, and infielder Matt Lawson. Lee was going to be a free agent after the season and he didn't pitch all that well for the Rangers in the regular season, but he won two games in the ALDS, ALDS against the Rays and one against the Yankees in the ALCS, allowing the Rangers to reach the World Series for the first time in club history. As a side note, the Mariners helped the Rangers even more by taking Beaven instead of left-hander Derek Holland. Mark Lowe would be a decent reliever on the Rangers trip to the World Series but would be a journeyman for the rest of his career. Justin Smoke would be the only significant piece surrendered in the Cliff Lee deal as he has had an above average bat most of his career with an all-star nod back in 2017. As for Beaven and Luke, they had short big league careers with no success and Matt Lawson never reached the majors. Fourth on this list is Rafael Palmero. On December 5th, 1988, the Texas Rangers traded for first baseman Rafael Palmero, left-handed pitcher Jamie Moyer, and left-handed pitcher Drew Hall. In exchange, the Chicago Cubs received left-handed pitcher Mitch Williams, left-handed pitcher Paul Kilgis, left-handed pitcher Steve Wilson, infielder Curtis Wilkerson, second baseman Luis Benitez, and outfielder Paul Delgado. During that year, rumors spread about a relationship between Palmero and Ryan Sandberg's wife, Cindy. Also, there were multiple rumors that Palmero was a jerk and a cancer to the clubhouse. This prompted the Cubs to trade Palmero to the Rangers after being elected to his first All-Star game a year prior. Even as controversial as Palmero was because of his steroid use, and his personality on and off the field, there is no denying that the Rangers absolutely won this deal when trading with the Cubs. Palmero would go on to be elected into two All-Star games with one gold glove and one silver slugger all during his Rangers career. And lastly, he ranked second all-time in Rangers baseball reference war with 44.6. As for the rest, Jamie Moyer had two bad seasons with the Rangers although had a solid career being selected to an All-Star game in 2003, winning one World Series in 2008 with the Phillies, and finishing with a career 4.25 ERA. Mitch Williams went on to be an All-Star out of the bullpen for the Cubs the very next year, and went on to have a career record of 192 saves with a 3.65 ERA. The rest of the players in this trade either did not have success in the majors or did not reach the major leagues at all. Third on this list is Michael Young. Back on July 19, 2000, the Rangers traded for right-handed pitcher Darwin Kubiyan and infielder Michael Young. In exchange, the Toronto Blue Jays received right-handed pitcher Esteban Loaiza. After two years, manager Johnny Oates was fed up with Esteban Loaiza's act and demanded that he be traded. General Manager Doug Melvin fulfilled his manager's wish and sent Loaiza to the Blue Jays for two relatively unknown players. Kubiyan caught immediate attention because he was a pitcher, but the AA infielder included in the deal ended up being one of the greatest players in Rangers history. This infielder was Michael Young. Young went from being an underdog to having an extremely accomplished resume as he was a seven-time All-Star, a Gold Glover, batting title champion, and an all-star MVP. Michael Young was also a key contributor in helping the Rangers reach their first World Series back in 2010. Even though Darwin Kubian seemed like the headliner in this deal, he did not find any success in the big leagues. And for Esteban Loaiza, he had gone to be, become a two-time all-star with a career 4.65 ERA. 
Real quick, if you like the video so far, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below. That way you never miss out on any future videos. Second on this list is Josh Hamilton. Back on December 21st, 2017, the Texas Rangers traded for outfielder Josh Hamilton and exchange the Cincinnati Reds receive Edison Volquez, a right-handed pitcher, and left-handed pitcher Danny Herrera. After an excellent rookie season for the Reds, Hamilton ended up being a big star in Texas. He was with the Rangers for five seasons in his first time around with the team, but was an all-star in all five, as well as the 2010 American League Most Valuable Player and the best player on the World Series teams. Volquez, another great young talent, had just one good year with the Reds. First on this list is Elvis Andrews. Back on July 31st, 2007, the Texas Rangers traded for catcher Jared Saltalamacchia, shortstop Elvis Andrews, left-handed pitcher Matt Harrison, right-handed pitcher Neftali Feliz, and left-handed pitcher Bo Jones. In exchange, the Atlanta Braves received first baseman Mark Teixeira and left-handed pitcher Ron Mahay. This trade dramatically changed the Rangers, giving them a badly needed infusion of young talent. Andrews, Feliz, and Harrison all became all-stars and key contributors when the Rangers went to the World Series in 2010 and 2011. This trade became the standard for all selling teams when it comes to the July 31st trade deadline. Mark Teixeira would go on to be selected into two more all-star games, win three more gold gloves, one more silver slugger award, and win his first and only World Series in 2009. And for the bonus trade, I have Cole Hamels. Back on July 31st, 2015, the Rangers traded for left-handed pitcher Cole Hamels and left-handed pitcher Jake Diekman. In exchange, the Philadelphia Phillies received catcher Jorge Alfaro, outfielder Nick Williams, right-handed pitcher Jake Thompson, right-handed pitcher Alec Asher, right-handed pitcher Jared Ekoff, and left-handed pitcher Matt Harrison, who the Rangers received in the last trade for Elvis Andrews. The Rangers were two games under 500 and seven games out of first place when this trade was made. The Rangers struck a deal knowing they could have Hamels for as long as three and a half seasons. Hamels came to Texas believing that the Rangers could get back into postseason contention and they did just that, winning division titles in 2015 and 2016. Hamels led the rotation while Diekman made a significant contribution in the bullpen. As for the Phillies, every single player they received has struggled in the majors. As a result, all of the prospects are no longer in the Phillies organization. That just about does it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any future videos. And in the comments section, let me know what you think is the best trade in Texas Rangers history. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.